Hello, Charlie. Are you and your brother and sister all set for Michigan? We're leaving in two hours. Uh, I don't know. An isolated lake house and just my family. And the last family vacation before you go off to college, honey. I'm so depressed about it. Uh, yeah, Mom. Uh, me too. So are you all packed? Sam and Ashley are, yeah. Ugh, I, I do wish you would call him Ash. But Ashley is his name. Yes, we named him that while your father and I were going through our Gone with the Wind phase, but he prefers Ash, remember? Um, where have you been, Mom? He's going by Ashley now. What? He is? Yeah, for like a month. He... though... really? I, I mean, still? Uh, as far as I know, Mother. Well, what about your sister? Is Sam ready? You know Sam, waiting until the last minute. So, I'm sorry about you and your sister having to share a room, but this house was what was in the budget. I think all of you are going to love it, though. It has two floors with a basement and game area, two fireplaces, a hot tub, and it overlooks the lake from up on a ridge. Wow, that all sounds pretty amazing, except Sam and I aren't sharing a room. You aren't? Um, no, Ashley wants to sleep with me. Um, why? I don't know, he just wants to. And your sister is okay with this? Mom, she's 19. Do you really think she cares if I sleep in her room with her? I suppose not. Plus, there is plenty of room. All right, fine, if you all say so. It sounds a little strange to me. Well, okay, that's fine that it sounds strange to you. Hmm. Anyway, bring your petty cash and, um, what else? My swimsuit? Yes, your swimsuit. And try to make it modest. Okay, sweetheart. Um, that's not a problem, but didn't you say that they were the only ones there? Well, yes, that's true, but no one wants to see that, dear. Oh, right, of course. Thanks, now I remember where my body issues come from. Anyway, could you please make sure that the bathroom is free when your father and I get home? Oh, you mean because there's probably a good chance that Sam is in it? Um, yes. What's been going on with her lately? Irritable bowel syndrome or something? I think she just wants to be left alone. She's really lonely at that college. Well, that doesn't make any sense. She's lonely, so she wants to be alone? Okay, I guess she just doesn't want to be with us then. Ugh, you girls. Hey, that girl, not me. Well, remind her to not forget her Xanax. Oh, I doubt that she'll forget that. And don't forget your Adderall. No problem there. And tell Ash, or Ashley, whatever, not to forget his Zoloft. Yes, ma'am, Miss Pharmacist. And Charlie, one more thing. Yeah? The sarcasm. What about it? On this trip, less is more, okay? Sure, Mom, whatever you say. Holy crap, Charlie. Did you see those guys down there at the beach tonight? Yeah, and the girls too. A whole freaking party. I thought this place was supposed to be deserted. Well, they're like the only other people around here renting. How lucky are we for that? Yeah, really lucky. What is your deal? Are you going to be like this the entire week? Like what? Not excited about a bunch of co-eds being loud and annoying? I thought this place was supposed to be isolated. I was led to believe it would be. Oh, well, Mom lied about something. Big surprise there. It wouldn't be the first time. And won't be the last. But seriously, though, were those guys, like, so cute or what? Uh, not my type. What do you mean, not your type? I mean, I'm just not into the whole frat boy attempted murder through a hazing type of guy. Yeah, well, I don't think you're into any guys. And what business is that of yours anyway? Because you're my sister, and I love you, and I'm also very, very curious. So anyway, how are you sleeping down there in the basement? It's not a basement. It's the bottom of a tri-level, and it's awesome. The back patio overlooks the lake. I went out there last night and looked up at the stars, and it was amazing. I've never seen them like that before. It's real country dark. It is pretty amazing what no light pollution can do. Yeah, and the smells out here, and just... The air is so different. I believe that's skunk. I think that's your you-know-what. Hey, I told you I didn't bring any. Maybe it was those cool kids down there. I saw you watching them today. You couldn't take your eyes off of them, actually. Well, did you see that blonde girl's bikini? And her body was, like, perfect. And you're accusing me of being gay? There's nothing wrong with appreciating beauty, Charlie. Maybe when you get to college, you'll open up. Yeah, college. What? I'm not going anymore. 
What do you mean you aren't going anymore? You got a freaking scholarship. I didn't get a full ride, and it's not like mom and dad have a bunch of money right now. Seems like they're spending it all on your education mostly right now. Oh, shut up. Don't lay a guilt trip on me. If you don't want to go to college anymore, that's your business, but I'm not helping you out with mom and dad. That's funny because I didn't ask you to help me. So what are you going to do then if you don't go to college? I don't know yet. Well, I don't know yet is not going to be good enough for mom and dad, especially mom. You know how important a good education is to her. Like it's our fault her parents were poor. Little does she know that higher education is mostly made up of people like those kids on the beach, right? Those kids are cool though. Oh, come on, Sam, are you serious? Do you really think that those kids are cool? Yeah, totally. They remind me of those kids that hang out on the patios of the frat houses. So is college just like high school on steroids or something? Oh, please, there were never people this cool at our high school. And you were never cool enough to judge that. Oh, whatever, like you were cool. I didn't care about being cool. Yeah, that's right, you're too cool to be cool, too cool to have any friends. That's why your only friend is Ashley. And so what if he is? So are you going to live at home forever with him then? Yeah, real cool. Maybe I'll get an apartment and he can come live with me after he graduates. Um, yeah, I don't see that happening. And why not? Our brother, please, he's never going to leave mom and dad's house. And why do you say that? He's just not, he's too fragile. Oh, and you're not fragile? You don't have any friends either. That's why you're drooling over those idiots staying down the hill. Uh, I I'm sorry, Sam, that, that was out of line. Whatever, Charlie, I'm going to sleep. Good night. Ugh, fine, good night. Hey, Charlie, where are you? Nowhere, where are you? I'm in our bedroom waiting to start this episode of The X-Files with you. Are you out there with your skunks again? What? No, why? Can you smell it? I don't know, maybe, but that could just be the, you know, great outdoors. Hey, that's one good thing about being up here for you, Charlie. You can hide your stink from mom and dad. Yeah, yeah, whatever. So are you coming back in here or not? Why don't you come out here? Well, where are you? I'm out here on top of that little ridge overlooking the lake. There's that swinging bench out here. Oh, yeah, that did look nice. So come on out here, it's gorgeous. Oh, really? So you're starting to enjoy nature now or something? I don't know, maybe I am. Come on out here. Okay, fine. Let me get my flip-flops. But I'm not doing that with you. I told you I hate it. I did it with Hailey Latham after homecoming and I thought I was going to have a panic attack. Heidi must have gotten the bad stuff then. I can't find my flip-flops. Well, I can't help you there. Seriously, do you know where they are? Did you put them somewhere? Yeah, I hid your size 10 flip-flops in my suitcase just for kicks and giggles. You did? Are you serious? I'm going to go look. No, I was just joking. Well, we'll see about that. Don't look in there, Ashley. I'm serious. Oh, uh, what is that? That's nothing. That, that's none of your business. I'm just going to pretend I didn't see that. Oh, hey, look who's coming out to the beach to see the moon. Who, Sam? No, the college kids, two of them. The really cool ones, you know? Oh, yeah, the cool ones. What are they doing? Oh, you know, laughing, clinking beer bottles, making happy sounds, being obnoxious. Just come out here and spy with me. Okay, fine, but I have to find my flip-flops first. You don't need your flip-flops. It's a dirt road. Oh, that's right. Yeah, so just be a little hippie boy and come over here and be quiet. Fine, fine, I'm coming. Are you coming or what? Yeah, I'm crossing the road right now. Wait, stop. What? Go over there to that tree over there. What tree? There's trees everywhere. That one over there by the hammock. Okay, fine. Okay, good. Now, do you see them out there? Make sure they don't see you. I don't see anything. Where are they? They rode out there onto the raft. What raft? Oh my god, the stationary raft, the square thing about 10 yards from the dock. Oh, okay. Oh, I see them now. They just look like two shadow figures. What are they doing? I don't know. They were talking for a while, but I couldn't make out anything that they were saying. Now they're completely silent. Everything is completely silent. I don't think I've ever heard silence so silent. Nice one, Ashley. I can hardly see anything down there. Can you? No, not really. It just looks like two shadow people on the raft. Wait, what are they doing? One is kind of putting their hands around the other's neck. Do you see that? 
Oh my god, what are they doing? Is one pushing the other down into the water? They are! Oh my god! We, we have to do something! That person just went right into the water! Are they coming back up? Do you see anyone? No! No, I don't see anyone! What about the other person? They're just standing there looking into the water! Come on, let, let's go back inside. You don't have to tell me twice. But be quiet about it, okay? Oh my god, did we just witness a murder? Shh! Just shut up and go inside! Charlie, what the hell was that last night? I mean, what did we see? I don't know. I, I honestly have no idea, and I'm not so sure that I want to find out either. Well, what are we going to do? What if somebody saw us running away? Shut up! Nobody saw us! Stop freaking out! Why? Why can't I freak out? Because if you start freaking out, I'm going to start freaking out, and one of us has to stay calm, okay? All right, all right, fine. So what are we going to do? I mean, did we seriously just see a... a... what, Ashley? Wait, no. Don't say it. If you don't say it, it's not real. It didn't actually happen then, right? We just, uh, dreamed it. But we did, Charlie. We did see it. Somebody got drowned last night. Somebody got pushed under that water. And they did not come up. No, they did not. So what are we going to do? Are we going to tell somebody? No, we can't tell anybody, Ashley, okay? But why not? I mean, we just saw a murder, didn't we? We don't know what we saw. Well, I'm pretty damn sure I know what I saw. Okay, Ashley, I need you to take a deep breath. I don't need a deep breath. I need to have not been a witness to a murder. Well, I think it's a little too late for that. Shut up. Don't say that. Don't you know what happens when you're a witness to these sorts of things? You end up at the bottom of the lake, too. Okay, just relax. We have to relax. We have four more days here, and we can't be freaking out the entire time. We just have to play it cool. And how do you propose we play it cool when Dad expects us to go kayaking on that lake today? Um, just don't look down, I guess. Oh, that's just great advice. Thanks a lot. I can't believe this, Charlie. We're on vacation at a lake house and we are literal witnesses to a murder. We don't know that for sure, okay? So don't go all Dateline NBC on me yet. Just keep your mouth shut and don't panic, all right? And I'll try to do the same. Hey, Charlie. What's up? Are you having fun? I'm having a great time. Um, well, you didn't really give me the chance to answer, but... Oh, that's awesome. I'm so glad. You are? Yeah, because guess what? Uh, what? Your sister that you said doesn't have any friends now has five of them. You mean... That's right, the college kids that are staying down by the lake. Wait, how did you start hanging out with them? Well, I was just sitting down there on the beach by myself, and one of the girls came up and started talking to me. What's her name? Gwyneth, and she's so sweet. Oh, she is, is she? Is she blonde? She has to be blonde, right? The blonde in the red bikini, of course, and her boyfriend, Daniel. He was the one that I thought was so cute. Oh, so he's taken. I'm so sorry, Sam. Oh, well, I'll be okay. There's always Joey. He's the other one with the shaggy surfer hair. Um, weren't there six of them yesterday, Sam? What? What do you mean? I mean, weren't there six people with that group yesterday? Well, if you are counting me... Uh, no, I am not counting you. Well, why did you have to say it like that, Charlie? Oh, come on, Sam. These people aren't your friends, you know? They're just weird summer party people. And total fakes, Chads and Mandy's. Well, maybe I want to be a Chad and Mandy, so what? Is there a problem with that or something? Yeah, there actually is. Why? Can't you just live and let live, Charlie? You know, accept people for who they are. No, no I cannot, Sam, not people like that. People like what? Beautiful people, rich people? Just, I'm not so sure they're great people is all. Uh, and how would you even know? You haven't even talked to them. You just hide up there in the lake house like you're some fairy tale queen or whatever with our weird little brother. He's not a weirdo, he's just strange. Whatever, he's a weirdo. You do realize that our entire family is a little bit off, don't you think? No, not at all. At least not me. Okay, well, I just think that you should hang out with us for the rest of the trip. With who? My family? Um, yeah, you're on a family vacation, right? Well, yeah, but... These are my friends. Sam, I think Ashley and I saw something weird last night out there by the dock. Like what? What did you see? I don't know. I, I think we saw a 
fight or something. A fight? Like an argument? Um, we aren't really sure. It was kind of dark. Well, so what? People fight. Big deal. Did you hear yelling? Um, no, we didn't really hear any yelling. Actually, it was pretty quiet. Okay, well then, what's the big deal? I have to go. We're all going jet skiing later, and the girls want to take me into town to get a new bikini first. Oh, okay, well, um, be careful, Sam. Yeah, well, whatever. Hey, Charlie, did you talk to Sam? Yeah, I talked to her. You think she listened to me? No, of course not. She never does. I just don't understand her. Like I told mom, she's lonely. Yeah, well, I'm lonely too. You don't see me hanging out with a bunch of jerks. I don't see you hanging out with anybody except for me. So what, is there some problem with that or something? Ashley, don't you think it's a little bit strange that none of us really have any friends? What do you mean? I mean like the kids and our family, we're just a bunch of loners. Well, so what? What's wrong with being a loner? Nothing, I guess, but don't you think it's weird that we're like a whole family of them? Whatever. I don't know, I just think that maybe we should branch out. So how are you going to do that if you don't go to college? Well, I can still have friends outside of college, you know? So you're just going to make friends at whatever crappy job you get? Uh, yeah, sure. What about you? I don't need friends. I have you. And plus, I have my friends online. Your friends online? Seriously? You think they count? Yeah, of course they count. Totally. Some of them don't even have real pics as avatars. Uh, who cares? They're still real people. They're probably bots. They are not! Shut up! Kenny lives in Singapore and Billy is in Australia. Face it, bro. We're losers. Yeah, but we're losers who aren't getting drowned in lakes. Yeah, well, speaking of lakes, it is buggy out here tonight. Well, we are in Michigan in the summertime. There's going to be a lot of bugs. Are you all alone down there tonight? Um, I was. What do you mean? I mean, I think I see somebody coming down the hill, coming down from the cool kid's house. Oh, crap. Hide! Turn your brightness down! I'm on a beach chair. I'm hiding under a blanket. Can you see them? How many are there? Or what are they doing? I don't know. They're just shapes again. Two of them. They're going out to the dock. Oh, my God. It's the blonde and Sam. It's Sam, Ashley! Oh, my God. What are they doing? They're going at the end of the dock. They're talking. They're laughing. Ugh, Sam's laugh is so annoying. Come out to the balcony so you can get a look, too. Make sure no one sees you. Okay, okay, hold on. Are you out there yet? Do you see them? Yeah, I'm trying to focus. My eyes are getting used to the dark. Do you see them now? Okay, yeah, I see them. What are they doing now? They're getting into the canoe. Why are they doing that? Um, to canoe, I guess. God, the lake is so nasty. It's creepy. It is creepy. I can hardly even see them now. Where did they go? Right there, heading towards the center, you see? Yeah, yeah, I see. What are they doing, though? It almost looks like Sam is putting on clothes or something. Is she... What is she doing? Oh my god, what is happening? Why does that girl have her hands around her neck? Ashley, it's happening again! This blonde bimbo is trying to drown our sister, too! Come on, let's go! Okay, okay, hold on. I have to find my flip-flops. Did you hide them again from me? Forget your flip-flops! So, Charlie... Um... Hey, Sam. How's it going? Are you dry yet? You and your friend? Uh, yeah, I'm dry. My friend, too. So, you're into night scuba now, huh? Yeah, they taught me how to do it. It's a lot of fun. You should try it sometime. Oh, um, no thanks. It kind of looks like someone is trying to drown you. You just have to have someone help you hook up your tank is all. I guess you couldn't see too well in the dark, huh? Um, yeah, I guess I couldn't. Well, I don't appreciate you spying on me, but I guess I can't be too upset if you were only trying to save me. And we were! We were totally trying to save you! So, you thought I was being drowned, huh? Um, yeah, you and someone the other day, but it really did look like that from our angle. Oh, I see. So that's why you thought that there were six people in the group and not five. Yeah, exactly. I thought one was at the bottom of the lake. So... Are you telling me that for a majority of this week, you and Ashley have thought that there was a dead body at the bottom of the lake? Well, we didn't think that it was a live body, Sam. Charlie, no offense, but I feel like you two seriously need to spend a little bit of time apart. What do you mean? 
Well, I mean, I don't think that getting an apartment together after Ashley graduates is such a good idea. I just kind of feel like you two, I don't know, play off of each other in weird ways. I just feel like it might end up bad. You may end up going insane together with paranoia is all. Oh, that is ridiculous. We'll be fine. All right, well, if you say so. So we're leaving tomorrow. Did you get your new friends' contact info? Are you all going to stay in touch? Oh yeah, I got it all. We're all already friends on social media. Oh, well, isn't that special? It is actually jealous of my friends much. I told you they're not my kind of friends. And you told me that they aren't my friends either, remember? Well, okay, maybe I was just a little jealous of the fact that you made acquaintances. <laughs> I knew it. And they do legitimately seem to enjoy your company. Of course they do. I'm actually having fun now, Charlie. Okay, well, maybe friends aren't so bad. Seriously, sis, you should try it sometime. I'm freaking exhausted from that trip. What about you? Uh, I seriously have no problem with it being my last family vacation. Wait, what? You aren't going to go with us anymore? I don't know. Do you really want to go again? Well, it wasn't that bad. At least I got to hang out with you. But we'll be doing that a lot soon, right? Ashley, I've been thinking. Oh, well, that's a first for you. Do you really think it's such a good idea that we move in with each other next year? Uh, yeah, of course it is. It's what we've been talking about, right? I know, but maybe we should try our hand at spreading our wings, maybe. Um, wings? What wings? I don't have any wings. I'm fine walking. Well, maybe we need to grow some. Maybe we need to move outside of ourselves a little bit, you know? You mean make friends? Um, yeah, kind of. Don't you think it might possibly finally be time? Uh, I guess. I mean, it would be nice to say I have someone other than my sister and faceless avatars for once. And there's plenty of stuff out there to do. There's game nights, trivia nights, karaoke. Karaoke? Do you seriously think that I'm going to sing karaoke, like, in front of people? You have a beautiful voice, Ashley. Oh, really? Do you think so? We all hear you in the shower every day. Oh yeah, right. I don't know what the future may hold for us, brother, but I know that a lot of changes are coming our way. Ugh, I hate changes. Most do, but I'm still your sister and your best friend, and I always will be. And you'll always be mine, too. Hey, maybe we should start our own PI business together, solving crimes in small Michigan lake towns? Um, I don't think we'd be the best at that. Yeah, maybe you're right. Sam went back to school that fall with a new attitude and renewed confidence in herself and her social abilities. She soon made friends and formed her own group and finally found the acceptance she craved. Charlie decided to enroll in the local community college where she took art and English classes and ended up loving it. She met new friends who she ended up renting a small house with. After Ashley graduated, he lived with them in the house for a while, but just until he worked and saved up enough to go to school himself. He now goes to game nights every Tuesday and Friday with his friends.